Hello guys, this is Becca, and I am here with a box opening, and I might should have brought my scissors in here. I opened the main box, but I have ordered, I ordered two babies from Paradise Galleries during their, uh, was it a what was it? Black Friday sale, I think it was. Um, and with every order, you got a free cup. I've already had two of these cups that I purchased myself. I love them to drink my coffee out of. But I will show you what it looks like. It says, Recycle, Renew, Reborn. It's from Paradise Galleries. This makes my third cup. I need one more to have a full four cup set. I love them. They're a good, nice size. Guys, I am gonna go put this on the table so I don't break it. And while I'm gone, I'm gonna grab my X-Acto knife because I have two boxes in this one big box and each box is sealed, so I need to get my X-Acto knife. I will be right back. Okay. I'm back. I'm back. I'm excited to have two new babies. Oof, I can get them out. Oh. Ah. They fit perfectly in this box, this big box. And I might have to turn it upside down to get the little ones out. Okay, here we go. So I don't know which one this is because I'm not gonna look on the end and read it. Let it be that kind of a surprise anyway. <laughs> I know what babies I got, naturally. I ordered them, but we'll see. Uh, I don't know which one I'm opening. I'm not gonna read the tag on the end. Okay, let's see which one we got here. Are y'all seeing? I hope I didn't bump the camera. Okay, here we go. Now, I did want to, uh, I ain't gonna do that because y'all have seen them over and over. It's not like they're reborns that each individual doll is different. Uh, I'm just gonna open it up. So let's see. Ah, it's this little baby. It's this little baby. Ah, can't remember her name. I have to look at her papers. I think it's Bundle of Joy. I was telling you if her name was Joy. Yes, her name is Joy. Bundle of Joy. So I am going to leave her name as Joy. Okay. Let's see. She comes with a little... Oh my goodness, let me take this out. This is so cute. She come with a little lovey. Oh, it's a little pink lovey. Look how cute, guys. No, Macy. Oh, it's a rattler. You can't have it, Macy. That's for the baby. That's not yours. That is so cute. I hope you're seeing that. I'm going to move this box as soon as I can get her untied and out of here. Okay. Let's get her untied. I love her little sleeper she has on. It's so pretty. Oh, that's kind of tied around her neck. Let's see if I can get it. Let's see if I can get it. I don't want to pull it tighter. Oh, come on, baby girl. I can't get my fingernail under it. Got it. Okay. All right. Let's move this box. There we go. There's my bundle of joy. There's Mama's little bundle of joy. She's a preemie, looks like. Hers a little preemie. Oh, her so pretty. Her so pretty. Look at Mama's pretty baby. Look at Mama's pretty baby. Yeah. Look at Mama's pretty baby. Mama's little joy. 
Yeah. I need a middle name for Joy. Yes, I do. I need a middle name for Joy. Uh -huh. I had one of my other dolls named Joy, but when I sold it, uh, I kept the little bracelet that I had made for her. Uh, so I have a bracelet already made for this little Joy. And, um, but I deleted the name, uh, that I had wrote down on, in my, on my computer. I probably could go back and look through the videos, but that would take time. But, uh, I deleted the name and now I can't remember what I had her middle name as. So I'm going to have to rethink of her middle name. Only thing I'm displeased about is her hair is glued on. I didn't realize that. I didn't read that good. But for $39, I guess you can't complain. Uh, she must be an older doll. Because now they don't glue the hair on anymore. They either have wigs or it's rooted. Uh, but it'll be okay. I mean, I've only paid $39. It's got glue. You can see the glue. I don't like that. But that's okay. That's okay. I may, uh, I may just, she may be a cap baby. I may just put caps on her. Oh, there's her little lovey. But I loved her little face. She's just, she's got a beautiful little face. That's what drew me to her. And why I didn't read all the details of whether her hair was glued on or what. But we'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. We'll just put caps on her or headbands to cover it. We'll deal with it. Because can't complain. Her so pretty. You want to see her? Oh, we, yeah. You can't have her lovey. No, that's her lovey. I don't know if y'all can see Macy, but she's wanting that lovey. But look at them little feet. She's, she has three-fourth limbs, and she is definitely a preemie size. I love her little sleeper. Oh, her so pretty. Her so pretty. Mama's little joy. Yeah. Mama's little joy. Yeah. Her so pretty. Her got blue eyes. Yeah. That's your pretty baby. Yes, her is. Yeah. All right. Lay right there and we'll open your sister. feeling pretty good today guys I, I tell you whenever I'm not feeling good so I wanted to tell you that I'm feeling pretty good today I've been having a pretty good day I'm surprised yeah really I am surprised after the day I had yesterday oh it was rough but uh I'm, I am I'm feeling better so okay so this here is I love you more and I do not have a name for her, so I need a name for I love you more, so any suggestions will, will be appreciated. All right, she comes with a pacifier, and looks like she has one of them little puffy uh, toy-like things, bracelet-type things she put on their wrist to play with. So she has her passy like that and she has her little I thought it might would rattle but it don't it's just her little puffy bracelet toy thing you put around their wrist to let them play with and naturally Macy's eyeballing it won't it bless her heart guys you probably wonder why I don't give her toys Macy toys I have bought this baby toys and toys and toys on top of toys. And she tears them up. She, if she just tore them up, I can't get her any that has like the stuffing in it. Because she tears it up within five minutes and then she's got that stuffing in her mouth and a gagging and carrying on. Well, then I get her the, the uh, kind that's 
stuffless. That's just the, uh, you know, the material is just, but then she still tears that up and pulls it off into bits and pieces and gagging and carrying on over it. So if she wouldn't do that, I would buy her more. Now what I have done is I've taken an old blanket and um, I pulled it off into pretty wide a strip and then I would tie like a couple of knots in it. It's harder for her to tear them up, but after a while of her chewing and chewing and chewing on it, she does get it where she starts pulling off little bits and pieces. Well, when that happens, I have to throw it away because she gets to swallowing it and gets to gagging and carrying on. So there's very few toys I have found that she can play with without hurting herself. So that's why you don't see her with toys. Now, if I could find, like I have seen them, but I've never purchased one yet. I need to purchase her one, but like the, the real hard plastic or rubber, it's really rubber, not plastic. Uh, bone toy bones the they're like real hard rubber <sighs> see she's a boston terrier and she has that bulldog grip in her mouth you know the the grip of a bulldog and uh there's not very many things that she can't after chewing a while can't tear up and, and into pieces so i haven't tried the hard rubber bones yet i want to uh, and see if maybe she could play with one of them without biting bits and pieces of it off and gagging on it. So I'm going to try that next. But so far, all I have found is to get like a flannel type blanket and uh, just, you know, tie knot, a couple of knots in it and use it as a toy. Um until she chews on it enough that she starts chewing pieces off. Then I have to throw it away. But anyway, we're going to see. She kind of reminds me of Bella. Does she you? Y'all remember, uh, uh, I can't remember Bella's whole name, but her name is Bella from Paradise Galleries. Uh, but this skull kind of reminds me of Bella. I didn't realize that. Now, I don't like to get sculpts that are, that look a whole lot alike, uh, which is why I didn't get that baby, that sleeping baby. I don't remember her name, but she's the same sculpt as um, Wishes and Dreams. I didn't get her even though she looks different because uh, they painted her a little bit lighter tone. Her skin tones are lighter and um, her hair is a lighter color. So she looks different, but yet she's still, you know, you can tell it's the same sculpt. So I try to stay away from buying babies that are the same sculpt. Someone commented, uh, and it might have been on, now that I'm thinking about it, it might have been on Facebook. And I meant to go back. At the time I read it, I didn't have time to answer the question. But uh, someone had put on one of the Facebook groups. Um, which, uh, which do you like best, Ashton Drake or Paradise Galleries? And why? And uh, so... I meant to go back and answer it, and I never did, but I'm going to tell y'all, I actually like Paradise Galleries better. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not down in Ashton Drake. I love uh, some of Ashton Drake's dolls, um, so I'm definitely not down in them. I, matter of fact, I have uh, the baby I call Carly. She is pocket full of sunshine from Ashton Drake. She's the only, only vinyl besides Lucy. I have Lucy, the 18-inch doll that's sort of like the American Girl dolls. I have her from Ashton Drake. She's vinyl. Uh, but that's the only two Ashton Drake vinyl dolls I have. Then I have two um, of the partial silicones. 
And um, I had more Ashton Drake, but during my time of selling my dolls, I sold all of them but the, the four I have, which is Lucy, the 18 inch doll, uh, Carly, which is pocket full of sunshine. Then I have little Livy, which is a partial silicone. I named her Darla. And I have um, Pretty and Petite Presley, which is partial silicone. So that's the only Ashton Drakes I have now. Um, I sold all the others. But, and probably, oh, and I have an Ashton Drake on pre-order, which is a fairy. She, but she is a partial silicone. And she's a fairy. Um, uh... Okay, well, I, I lost my train of thought what I was trying to tell you. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, why I like Paradise Galleries more. Uh, Paradise, some of Paradise Galleries dolls looks really doll-like, not reborn-like. Uh, which you would think, you know, it, would think is a downfall, except for the other parts of, of them, the other parts that I like outweigh the fact that they look more doll-like, um, or more like a toy, I guess you would say. Um, now, the faces of the Ashton Drake do kind of look more like a reborn than most of the Paradise Galleries. But I love the body of the Par Paradise Galleries dolls a whole lot more than I like the Ashton Drakes. Most of the Ashton Drakes, most of the dolls, they all, they all have that kind of that same look. I mean, you can just about look at an Ashton Drake doll and know it came from Ashton Drake. Um, they just all have that same look. They're they're so similar. Um, I, I don't know how to put it in words. It's just they look so much alike. Where with the Paradise Galleries dolls, each doll is such a different sculpt. They have it's like they have their own little personality, um, their own little attitudes already made into them. Um, they're nowhere, unless they do take the same sculpt like they did, Buttons and Bows is the name of that baby I was trying to think of. They did use the same sculpt that they used for Wishes and Dreams, and there has been a couple of others that they did that. But even with Paradise Galleries, even though they used the exact same sculpt, the way they changed it up, Buttons and Bows has a whole different attitude about her than Wishes and Dreams. And they just, Paradise Galleries just gives their babies more of its own individual look, its own individual um, attitude. It's almost like you already know what kind of attitude the, the baby's going to have when you get it. Um, they do just, and even though, like this one here, now she she looks a little bit more reborn than this one. This one looks more like a doll than reborn, but her her attitude, her her it's like her own little personality. Her looks, uh, the body is just so soft and cuddly. The the vinyl is just it's almost like baby skin to me. Um, I just like it. I like the Paradise Galleries. And like I said, I you know I'm not downing Ashton Drake. If if you prefer Ashton Drake, that is wonderful. I have no problem with it. You know everybody has their own preferences and what they like and what they dislike. I just like the feel of the the Paradise Galleries in your arms. They just they feel like a baby in your arms. They're just soft and cuddly and. And like I said, the main thing is they have their own individual look and personality. Um, and that's what I like so much about Paradise Gallery dolls. And yes, you hold them up beside a Reborn and they look doll-like. 
most of them. There's a few, just like the, um, uh, what did I even name her? Oh my goodness. Y'all know which baby I'm talking about. I carry on about her every time I bring her on camera. And I carry on about her when I'm not on camera. <laughs> but they made her so much like a reborn. To, it's, it'd be hard to tell she was a Paradise Gallery doll. She looks so much like a reborn. The one I, I'm always saying, you outdid yourself, Paradise Gallery. You outdid yourself. I'm sorry, guys. I have so many dolls. And just like these two new ones coming in, it's hard for me to keep them all in mind. Um, but you know which ones I'm talking about. But, um, I just, I just love the, the personality, the individuality of the Paradise Gallery's dolls and the cuddleness of them, how their, their bodies are made and just the way they cuddle and the way they feel. So that's my answer to that question, although that was not asked on on YouTube, but it's a possibility. Like I said, I cannot remember who asked that question. I do know it was on Facebook. Uh, so it's a possibility the person watches my YouTube channel. So if you do, if you see this video and you were the one that asked that question on Facebook, please comment below and let me know that you have heard the answer to the question about which one I like the most and why. And, uh, and even if you're not that particular person, I'd love to hear, uh, I'd love for you to comment and tell me uh, your preference. Do you prefer Ashton Drake or Paradise Galleries and why? I would love to know. Okay, guys. But she has this little, um, it's like a little pullover sweater. It has the little uh, pink fuzzy balls on it. And then you can pull it off and she has the little shirt under it that matches the little pants. And uh, it'll look like she has on two different outfits. And that's her little uh, wristlet that her toy she can play with. And so that's my two babies. That's little Joy right here. And I don't know what I'm going to name her. So y'all help me out with names for I Love You More. All right, guys. Oh, and I need a middle name for Joy. So help me out here, guys. Help me out here, guys. All right, guys. I am so excited about my new babies. Y'all know I love my babies, and I always get excited when I get new ones. So, I wish I had a place to put these boxes that they come in in case, which I don't plan on right now. I have no thought of selling any. But, you know, you just, I do have, still have a couple of Reborns I'd love to sell. I really do. Just not, quite not bonding with them. So I do have a couple of reborns I'm still wanting to sell. Um, anyway, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, I wish I had a place to put these boxes so I could keep them in case I was to sell any more dolls. And because they're excellent for sending off dolls in the mail. So anyway, Thank y'all so much for stopping by my channel. I hope you've enjoyed this box opening. I hope you like my babies. So, uh, yeah. Comment and give me a middle name for Joy. And some suggestions that I can pick from for I Love You More. Alright guys, I hope you all have a great rest of your day. And I will talk with you later.